So play Super Narcoleptic Girl, uh, lotly because I have narcolepsy, which is a sleeping disorder. And I play Lee, uh, who is Keelan's best friend, who's what's called a primary, as in I'm just an everyday yeah. human. I don't possess any superpowers. We are the creators and writers and and producers. <laughs> we met doing stand up. We met doing stand up, and then but we really didn't start hanging out till like two years ago, like in the summer. Yep. 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 And then. Um, had the idea, uh, uh, like, uh, it'll be two years, September. Actually did it, and we started meeting right away, meeting once a week. She made me wake up early. <laughs> On Saturdays for a long time. On Saturdays. <laughs> and then for two years. <laughs> we see each other a lot. We're not dating, and we <laughs> see each other pretty much but every day. I have a key to your house! She has a key to my house! She <laughs> understands me more than all of my ex-boyfriends probably <laughs> combined. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the narcolepsy. Like, what's crazy is she's learned so much about it. I she, have. She can tell when I'm tired I and um, when I'm loopy. She can tell when I'm being bitchy. Her name is Super Narcoleptic Girl, which was a mix up at the Super DMV, which is also kind of a way to show that, hey, you don't want to be defined by your disability, but sometimes you are. It's definitely not, not fainting. Faint. Um, it's, it's called a cataplexy, which is. Lots of scientific words. It's muscles. It's a sudden <laughs> loss of uh, muscle control. There so. you go. Let me tie you up. Put you in a cage under my bed. No! no! Shit! Every part of the show where there's narcolepsy involved. I told you before, no sleeping in my he's bar. He's inspired by something that's actually happened to me. Is as real as we can hey. make it. So that way, yeah, it's not the butt of the job. I want to see if she has any hypnopompic hallucinations. Jesus! She hasn't really got, come into her own yet, so she's a little bit of a lower level super. Like, her power is she makes people dance. No dancing in my bar! Oh, yeah. That's enough! Ah. Her family is like a super famous family. Parents built this big high-end agency for superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I zapped him into oblivion which is just fun and silly, but really we tried to come up with powers where we wouldn't need a lot of special effects. The premise is this is a world where there's supers and there's primaries and there's supers. Um, they make their money. Their career is um, based on, on how many saves they do. Best! Two out of five childhood bullies grow up to become millionaires. Yes. What are you doing here, Keelan? Sonda bro, we're supposed to be using our super names. It's unprofessional. So with Insomnia Bro, he has insomnia, but his main power in the series, because he's a superhero, is whenever he holds up his hand and says, sup, as in like, what's up, people have to automatically high five him. Okay. Have it your way, sup. That was a non-consensual high five. Sup, sup, sup. Here we just shot the Laugh Factory, which was very exciting. We shot at the Elbow Room. The bottom level is fantastic. Very dark and filled with graffiti and painting. And we shot the top floor there as well. I'm a scientist, not a wizard. And with the underwear, could you just, just put it like on the table? It's also very like Broad City-esque. So we're two friends, we, we're roommates. In we're roommates, the... we drink together, we party together, we laugh together, we watch movies together. We're very... We fall asleep to movies together. We fall asleep together. <laughs> so it's very Broad City meets The Incredibles. The first part is humor, for sure. The first part was humor, but like the more we did it, we realized we're actually bringing awareness to like a really underrepresented yeah. disability in the media. And we learned a lot about what it's like to be narcoleptic, we learn about cataplexies, we learn about medication, we learn a lot of this stuff while also laughing. We have a great, awesome team. Our team has been really fun. Our team is amazing. We couldn't be more grateful for them and all of the work they put into this. Trying to keep things simple, try to move quickly. Yeah, uh, run and gun might be what we call it. The crew's been really great. We've had a lot of help, a lot of volunteers. But that really just means a lot of opportunities for people to learn. Go right over the lens there, like a oh, yeah, Toro. We were drinking actually with Greg Holloman, who is playing the amazing Sting. And uh, Pops had the. Well, no, Sarah decided she would inform me she was narcoleptic. To which I proceeded to inform her she would make the worst superhero ever. And she's like, we have to write that. And I'm like, yeah, actually, we do. And we did. And we're very excited.